There are many ways to take notes and study, but visual methods like mind maps and infinite canvas can be very effective. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best visual note apps that you can use for writing and studying. This video is sponsored by Shortform. Number one, and probably the most polished visual note app out there is Heptbase. It has the most complete set of features, including tasks, Readwise integration, daily journal, and mobile app for both iOS and Android. Not many visual note-taking apps have mobile apps. Heptabase is one of the few that do. Anyway, there are different ways to use this tool. One, it's simply to use a daily journal and write your thoughts, to-dos, and uh, something you read or learned and create a new page, which is called a card in Heptabase for writing about something in depth. Also, all the to-dos you made will be in the task tab, so you can see them all in one place. I think this is a new addition, which I really like. Um, you can even schedule them to be done by a certain date. It's kind of basic right now, but I'm sure it will get better. But as a visual note app, it lets you organize your notes visually in an infinite canvas, which are called whiteboards. So if you go to map, you will see the collections of the whiteboards you have in your knowledge base, and you can organize them however you like. So you can create sort of a map of your brain. I haven't used it much recently, but in mine, I have whiteboards for goals, life principles, which are a bunch of my favorite quotes from the books I read, and for personal finance, which was my messy attempt to visualize my cash flow. Um, just like this, you can make a whiteboard for anything you want to organize visually. It can be for preparing for an exam, writing a novel or article, organizing recipes, planning a trip, or whatever you want. The way it works is pretty intuitive. You just drag and drop the cards you want to use from the sidebar, then arrange them on the whiteboard. Arrows and lines can be useful to make it easier to visualize the relationships between cards. You also have an option to create a mind map if you prefer. Check out my full review if you want to see more details of Heptabase. Now, Screen Table is another good visual note app that I have tried. It is very similar to Heptabase, but instead of daily journal, Screen Table has My Desk, which is your temporary workspace for everything. It's like your notepad on your desk that you can write anything on. Uh, then once there is something you want to keep, you can select them to create a new whiteboard. If you don't need the rest, you can just clean the desk like you do in real life. Inside the board, you can search for cards you want to use and drag them to where you want to use them. You can also create columns like this to make it easier to organize all the cards. If you like the Kanban board style way to organize information, this might come in handy. But I cannot help but feel some things are lacking in this app, especially after seeing Hectobase. I know it's still early days for them, so I'm sure things will get much better. Now, Traverse is a new visual note app that's especially great for students. It's very unique because it combines mind map, flashcards, and bi-directional linking. It might look a bit basic, but I think it has a lot of potential. You can create as many whiteboards as you like, which are called traverses in this app. So you may have one for a book you read, one for a project you are working on, one for a class you're taking, and so on. And now you can make a new note and place it on the board, uh, write about the topic you're learning or an idea you got. And now what's special about Traverse is that you can create flashcards from these notes. Just hit this new flashcard button or highlight the part you want to memorize and turn it into a flashcard. But I tend to create a close for the things I want to remember or review because it's easier. So you can repeat this for each note, but another cool thing is that you can turn them into mind map by connecting them with lines and the arrows to make it easy to see how they are related. And finally, you can even use bi-directional linking to connect different nodes across different traverses. So by clicking on the link, you can jump right to the other side of the connection, even if it's on another traverse. Also, it already has a mobile app, so you can create flashcards on the go and review them on your phone, which I think is really nice because I like to review my flashcards whenever I have a few minutes free. Visual methods like mind map and infinite canvas can be very effective because they can help you organize your thoughts and link them to one another. I learned many effective learning techniques from books like how to take smart notes and uh, learning how to learn, and I've been reading them again because I found them on short form. Short form is my go-to app to learn the key concepts of different topics and discover new books to read next. It offers many collections of detailed book guides for nonfiction across different 
categories such as productivity, business, and psychology. You may think this is just a typical book summary app, but what set it apart and why I find it so effective for studying is the inclusion of expert commentary and analysis that provides additional insights into the book's themes and ideas. This expert insight helps bridge the gap between just reading a book summary and truly understanding the content, leading to a better learning experience. But that's not all. It also comes with an AI tool to help you learn from various online content, including articles and YouTube videos. It can summarize the content you're browsing instantly, which is a handy way to absorb key information without having to read or watch the entire piece. There are many tools like this already, but what's special about it is that it gives you not only the summary, but also the context of the content, as well as counter argument and relevant books. This makes it easy to dive deeper into the topic if you're interested. You can try Shortform for free by going to shortform.com slash Xiaomi to get a free trial and 25% off the annual subscription, which is three months free. All right, Afi is another new note app with a unique combination of features. It's like Notion with mind map. Also, it's local first, meaning all of your notes are stored locally on your device. So even when you are flying, you can still access your notes. Anyway, you can take notes just like in other note apps and use slash command menu to format text and insert things like um, links, images, Kanban board, and tables. And these are all blocks, so you can rearrange them by dragging them around. And so far, it's all super normal, right? But the best part is that you can switch to the mind map view at any time. So if you have a long document with lots of information, this might be very useful because you can break them into smaller pieces so you can arrange them however you like. And you can add more notes, shapes, images, and other things. But it's also possible to draw directly I'm on my laptop, so it's not quite easy to draw, but if you're on a tablet, it's probably very useful. So Afi is a great tool for not just taking notes, but also for brainstorming, drawing, planning, and more. I think it's free, so give it a try if you're curious. Now, Obsidian and LogSeq are kind of like the ultimate note-taking apps with lots of customizability. So they both have an infinite canvas feature as well, and they have lots of plugins you can install to modify the app to suit your needs. So if you like to tinker with your note app, they are a good choice. I won't go into details because there are lots of videos about them. Plus, they are free, so you can try them right away. Albus might be the best tool to learn new things. It's like an AI-powered mind mapping app. I reviewed it a few months ago, but it looks like they made a lot of improvements since then. The way it works is that you make a board for a topic you want to learn. Then Albus automatically generates lists of questions and uh, subtopics to start with. Just pick one you want to know more about and wait for it to generate cards for you. Then you can expand on each of them to explore further. Um, if you're not satisfied, it's possible to ask your own question and it will answer it for you. But now you can even ask questions about YouTube videos, um, PDF files you have, web pages, and so on. Um, for example, you can search YouTube for something you want to learn directly in Albus. Then pick one you're interested in and enable insights. After a few seconds, it lets you ask anything about the video. This way you can learn about it without even watching the video. The same thing is possible for PDF files and web pages. You just need to upload the file or the URL and ask questions. I think this is such a cool idea and one of the best use cases of AI in education. Personally, if we had a flashcard feature like in Traverse, it will be a perfect tool for studying. All right, the last one is Latex. Latex is a note-taking app that I think is perfect for students, academics, and writers. If you're familiar with zero-casting note-taking method or atomic note-taking method, this is actually a great app for that. It is built on the idea of managing information hierarchically where you can create projects, articles, and cards. So a project is made up of articles and an article is made up of cards. The way I would use it is that I collect ideas as cards and once I have enough, I can create an article with them. I think this is such a perfect tool if you're looking for an app to do zero casting, like it was mentioned in the book, How to Take Smart Notes, or if you're looking for a digital tool to do Ryan Holiday's writing method. Also, it supports comments like in Google Docs, as well as footnotes, which makes it great for collaboration and uh, academic writing. It lets you even change the style of the document to look like Economist, APA paper, and Medium articles. And I noticed that there's this typewriter mode and you can enable the keyboard sound, which feels really nice. Anyway, a nice thing about this app is that you can switch to mind map, 
to get an overview of your notes. And then you can arrange cards, develop your writing directly from here. Overall, I really like the simplicity of Latex with the clean and intuitive user interface. If you find the other note apps a little bit confusing with too many options, this is a great one to check out. If you want to know more great note-taking apps, check out this video about the best AI note apps. Thanks for watching till the end, and I really appreciate your support. See you in the next one. Bye.